Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this week I'm going to be transforming a blanket into a puffer jacket. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. I thrifted this blanket for $6 and first you want to grab one of your jackets to trace. I decided on my hoodie because it's more loose fit than my puffer. I traced out all my pieces onto paper and cut each one out one at a time instead of putting the blanket on fold because it's too puffy and my cuts would probably be inaccurate. I knew there were feathers inside the blanket but I didn't realize it was going to be so messy until I started cutting and feathers started flying everywhere. Not sure if this was the smartest idea but it's too late to turn back now. Once my pieces were cut, I pinned all the open sides closed so that feathers would stop flying out and at this point, you can restuff any areas that need more cushion if you want to. Now that your pieces look like this, sew the edges closed with a serger or a basting stitch. That was the longest part of the project and now is the fun part where we can assemble it all together. Face the front and back jacket pieces right sides together and sew the shoulder seams closed. To make the inside of the jacket nice and clean, I covered the raw edges with bias tape after sewing each seam. And lucky for me, I found bias tape in a matching color. Time to sew the sleeves. I marked the front and back of the sleeves because it's different on each side and then pinned the sleeves right sides together to the armholes. After sewing the sleeves on, cover the raw edges with bias tape. Next, face the underarm seams and side seams right sides together and sew them closed. I like to start from the middle seam to make sure it's lined up. Time for the hood. I actually traced the hood from my red puffer jacket because I like the shape of it better. There are two side hood pieces and a long rectangle piece that goes in the middle. So each side piece to the rectangle piece. And again, clean the edges with bias tape and then you can attach it to the jacket. I bought a 22 inch detachable white zipper and to sew it on, I unzipped the zipper and sewed each side right side together to the jacket. Make sure to line up the top of the zipper where the stopper is at to the top edge of the jacket. After the zipper is sewn, you also want to cover the raw edges and zipper tape with bias tape.
I didn't finish the edges of the underarm seam and side seams with bias tape earlier because I couldn't decide what style pockets I wanted, but in the end, I went with invisible side pockets. So now I have to seam up the side seam back open to add them in. I emptied out a piece of the blanket and seam ripped the stitching away so I can have two whole pieces. Then I copied the measurements of my jacket pocket. I added an inch to the bottom of the pocket so it can be deeper so my Pocket shape ended up being 8.5 by 8 inches. And you also want to mark the size of your pockets on each piece. In total, you should have 4 pocket bags. Don't worry too much about the size of them because you can always trim the pockets to fit later. Next, line up one of the pocket bags right sides together to the front jacket and one pocket bag right sides together to the back jacket. Repeat the same thing to the other side of the jacket and then you can sew each piece in place. Now we have to sew the front and back pocket bags together with the jacket turned inside out face to pockets right sides together along with the side seams of the jacket and sew it all at once like this. My camera battery died without me knowing so I don't have footage of this but after sewing the pockets I covered the edges with bias tape and even the edges of the pockets. My jacket is going to be a more cropped look so where the bottom of the zipper is I added an extra inch for seam allowance and trimmed the bottom off. Empty out the stuffing and then press the hem flat so no raw edges are showing. I'll be adding elastic to the bottom so my hem is wide enough to fit my elastic. First, hem the jacket but make sure to leave an opening at the beginning and end. Now you can feed your elastic through and I ended up using my loop turner to pull it out to the other side. It was way faster than using a safety pin. Once the elastic is evenly stretched along the bottom and fits the way you like, sew the elastic down first and then trim the rest of the elastic away so it doesn't stick out. Then you can hem the opening closed and repeat the same thing to the other side. To finish the hood, I trimmed the top of the zipper tape a little and then covered the edge of the hood with bias tape. Lastly, I trimmed the sleeves and will also be adding elastic to the cuffs. I almost forgot but you need to tack your pocket bags down as well so they stay in place. I sewed the pocket bags down from the front of the jacket that way I can see where the other stitchings are and just blend it in. And I'm finished. Here's my final recycled puffer jacket.
Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. 'Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love and joy. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little transformation. It was such a mess to make, but oh my goodness, I am so proud with how this turned out and how cleaned up all my edges are on the inside and how I did the pockets. The hood is a little bit small. I think because it's so padded that I underestimated how much room I would need. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any new videos from me and I hope All of you have a Merry Christmas. Bye. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas.